James Murray Mason November 3, 1798, to April 28, 1871, was a U.S. Representative and U.S. Senator from Virginia. He was a grandson of George Mason and represented the Confederate States of America as appointed Commissioner of the Confederacy to the United Kingdom and France between 1861 and 1865, during the American Civil War. In November 1861, Mason was among those captured by federal troops during the Trent Affair in November 1861 while he was on a mission to England. <laughs> Early life He was born on Annaloston Island, now Theodore Roosevelt Island, in the District of Columbia. He was a graduate of the University of Pennsylvania 1818 and received a law degree from the College of William and Mary 1820. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Political career. He practiced law in Virginia and was a delegate to the Virginia Constitutional Convention of 1829 to 1830 and a member of the House of Delegates. He was elected to the 25th United States Congress in 1836 as a Jackson Democrat. In 1847, he was elected to the Senate after the death of Isaac S. Pennybacker, and he was re-elected in 1850 and 1856. Mason famously read aloud the dying Senator John C. Calhoun's final speech to the Senate, on March 4, 1850, which warned of disunion and dire consequences if the North did not permanently guarantee the South equal representation in Congress. He also complained of personal liberty laws. Although the loss of property is felt, the loss of honor is felt still more. Mason also drafted the Second Fugitive Slave Law of 1850, enacted on September 18, 1850 as a part of the compromise measures of that year. Mason represented the majority view in leading the Senate committee that investigated the John Brown raid on Harper's Ferry in October 1859. The document was published as the U.S. Congress, Senate Select Commission on the Harper's Ferry Invasion June 15, 1860, but is often referred to as the Mason Report. Mason was president pro tempore of the Senate during the 34th and 35th Congresses but was expelled from the Senate in 1861 for support of the Confederate States. While he was traveling to his post as Confederate envoy to Britain and France on the British mail steamer RMS Trent, the ship was stopped by USS San Jacinto on November 8, 1861. Mason and John Slidell were confined in Fort Warren, Boston Harbor, precipitating the Trent Affair, which threatened to bring Britain into open war with the United States. The U.S. public erupted with a huge display of triumphalism at this dramatic capture. Even the cool-headed Lincoln was swept along in the celebratory spirit, but when he and his cabinet studied the likely consequences of a war with Britain, their enthusiasm waned. After some careful diplomatic exchanges, they admitted that the capture had been conducted contrary to maritime law and that private citizens could not be classified as enemy dispatches. Slidell and Mason were released, and war was averted. The two diplomats set sail for England again on January 1, 1862. Mason represented the Confederacy there until April 1865. One of his first acts in London was to raise the issue of Union blockades. Until 1868, he lived in Canada, and he then returned to the Clarence estate near Alexandria, Virginia. He died at Clarence in 1871. He was interred in the churchyard of Christ Church, Alexandria, Virginia. Topic: <laughs> Family. Topic. Marriage and children Mason married Eliza Margareta Chu on 25 July 1822 at Cliveden in Germantown, Pennsylvania. The couple had eight children. Anna Maria Mason Ambler, the 31st of January 1825 to the 17th of August 1863. Benjamin Chu Mason (1826–1847), Catherine Chu Mason Dorsey (the 24th of March 1828 to the 28th of April 1893), George Mason (the 16th of April 1830 to the 3rd of February 1895), Virginia Mason (the 12th of December 1833 to the 11th of October 1920). 
Eliza Ida Oswald Mason, the 10th of August 1836 to the 16th of December 1885. James Murray Mason Jr. the 24th of August 1839 to the 10th of January 1923. John A Mason, the 17th of November 1841 to the 6th of June 1925. He was a grandson of George Mason, 1725 to 1792, nephew of George Mason v. 1753 to 1796, grandnephew of Thomson Mason, 1733 to 1785, first cousin once removed of Stevens Thomson Mason, 1760 to 1803, and John Thomson Mason, 1765 to 1824, son of John Mason, 1766 to 1849, and Anna Maria Murray Mason, 1776 to 1857, first cousin of Thomson Francis Mason, 1785 to 1838, George Mason v. 1786 to 1834, and Richard Barnes Mason, 1797 to 1850, second cousin of Armistead Thomson Mason, 1787 to 1819, John Thomson Mason, 1787 to 1850, and John Thomson Mason Jr., 1815 to 1873, second cousin once removed of Stevens Thomson Mason, 1811 to 1843, and first cousin thrice removed of Charles O'Connor Gulrick. A first cousin five times removed was Betty Mason 1836-1899 first wife of Gen. Edward Porter Alexander. Sister Sarah Maria was the wife of Confederate General Adjutant Samuel Cooper General. Sister Anna Maria was the wife of Sidney Smith Lee son of Henry Light Horse Harry Lee, they were the parents of Confederate Major General and Virginia Governor Fitzhugh Lee. Brother John T. married Catherine Macomb, daughter of Gen. Alexander Macomb, Jr., commanding general of the Army 1828-1841. See also List of United States Senators expelled or censured <laughs>